Hey everyone, welcome back to another Foxtech video and in this one we're going to explore how you can use the text-to-speech feature on your iPad's Kindle app. This feature might be really helpful for those who prefer to listen to their books while um, reading them at the same time, right? So yeah, let me just dive into the setup process. At first, it's important to uh, have, I mean, you need to start by enabling the accessibility feature which can read stuff on your iPhone or iPad. It is a feature called Speak Screen and you need to open up the settings, navigate to accessibility and under the spoken content, toggle on the Speak Screen option. This feature allows your iPad to read aloud any text displayed on the screen. While you're here, you can also adjust the speaking rate to find what suits your preference, but of course, uh, you can play around with these settings right here. Now, let's talk about choosing the right voice, because that is also something you can customize for the best experience. Always select uh, Siri voices, and these voices you utilize uh, the neural engine and they're gonna provide a more natural adaptive reading experience. So you can choose from a couple of different types of English like US, Australian, whatever. And also other languages are supported too like German or whatever it is. Now that you have it set up, of course you now have the text-to-speech feature, the speak screen set up. You can start using it while reading on your Kindle app. So you open up the Kindle and navigate to the book you want to read and to activate a text-to-speech swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen. This gesture will start the text-to-speech function and your iPad will begin reading the text aloud. You can adjust the reading speed in the settings from the controller and you can also just try to match your pace, whatever you want to do. One of the great advantages of using this is that it turns pages automatically, right? Because um, you don't have to like scroll through them and like just do it page by page. You want also want to make sure that the pages are like disabled. Mm -hmm. So as I say, if you encounter an issue, make sure that you turn off the page turn animation within the Kindle app because this is going to separate the book into pages and you can only speak screen of one page. So if you disable this, you can essentially speak the whole thing all the way through. So that's going to be about it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below and I'll catch you in the next one.